Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. Now, this is going to be a very basic video, a little bit about wood. And the reason why, I deal with a lot of uh, new, what you would call hobby woodworkers. I try to call every customer we have. And uh, almost always, they tell me as we get talking that they picked this hobby up, they've had no training, and they've just managed to gather information from both the internet and from books. And that's great because there's a lot of information out there, but a lot of times, and I know from having done hundreds of videos myself, that we assume a certain base knowledge and sometimes it's not there. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about wood. And we're going to try to do one of these every week or so as I come up with a short lesson on the material that you're using. The first thing you need to understand is that this stuff, even though you've killed it, it's always going to be alive, meaning it is constantly trying to reach equilibrium with the surrounding atmosphere. So if it gets humid, then that board is going to want to absorb some of that moisture from the air and it's going to cause it to swell across its width and in its thickness, but not in its length. And as the humidity leaves and it, the air dries out, that piece of wood is going to give off that moisture and it's going to shrink in its width, shrink in its thickness, but not change in its length. So you have to know all about that because we call it cross-grain construction and you've got to be aware not to restrict a piece of wood's ability to do that. But I want to get even more basic than that. So here's your board. It's a piece of pine and this came out of the tree just like that. That's how it would stand. So the wood, if you see how much stress a tree uh, has to absorb in a windstorm, a piece of wood is very strong across its length. So we don't have any drinking straws. They seem to be outlawed now. So I'm going to use these pencils to describe it. So wood is a bunch of hollow cells like that. So if you can imagine that being a straw, let's pretend there's a hole in it. So like that, they're quite easily separated. They're not terribly well held together. That's why wood across its width can break quite easily. But held like that, you have a hard time breaking that. A lot of strength across their length. So what I have right here is a piece of maple in its length, a piece of maple across its width, a piece of pine in its length, and a piece of pine across its width. So in other words, that came off this board, and this came off the board this way. So let's see how strong they are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this in place. And I thought I would use some weights since we can easily hang them on the end of the board. And we've got fairly good measures. So that piece of pine, by the way, that is three quarter by three quarter. That's northern white pine. So there's a 1.5 1 kg weight, no problem. Here's a 5 kg weight. No problem. Here's a 10 kg, so this one I know would be 22 pounds. No problem. And the biggest one I have is a 15 kg. No problem. All right, now let's try that piece of uh, pine across its width. So we'll do the same thing, we'll leave half of it sticking out over the edge. Now one of the reasons why I'm, uh, I'm wanting to explain this is because I frequently see people cutting dovetails across on the edge of the board, which is uh, not only unnecessary, but it actually makes for a very weak joint. So here's the piece of pine across its width. Will it support? Okay, it will support that 1.5, but I can tell by the way it flexed, I do not think it's going to support the 5 kg. No, it quite easily broke. Now, just because pine, and by the way, that's a softwood, so those are trees that have needles. They never lose all their needles at the same time, the reason they call them evergreens, although they're constantly losing and renewing. A deciduous or a hardwood tree is uh, one that has leaves and seasonally they lose all of the leaves. Now this is a piece of maple cut across its grain and there's actually a glue joint right there so I don't know if this is going to impact it or not but we'll try it first. No problem with the 1.5. Held, held the uh, 5 kg. I don't think it's going to hold this. I, I'd be very surprised if it did. I'm going to support it with my hand underneath. Oh, wow, it did. 
15 kg. I'll just slowly let the weight off. Holy, wow. Now, that piece of maple, and by the way, just to uh, demonstrate how strong wood is, there's the glue joint on there. That piece of three quarter by three quarter maple, well, I'll just show you. So we can have enough room. I would suggest that we will be able, I'll put this one out on the end. I'll put this one right here. I'll put this one right here. I'll put this one right there. And that would easily, it's just starting to bend a little bit, but I'll bet you we could put double that and it would still hold it. So, lesson learned, along its length, wood is extremely strong. Across its width, not very strong at all, and as you saw, the softwood is extremely weak. Now, if you need to join two boards together, on their ends, and you've got to use some kind of a joint like that that's going to strengthen it. The dovetail is probably the strongest joint. Now that's a piece of uh, northern white pine. I think these pieces are five eighths of an inch in thickness, three and five eighths of an inch wide. And I'm going to put them on the floor so there's no triangulation helping because the floor is fairly slippery. And with this apron on, I probably weigh 190 pounds. And I can, I'm not trying, not, I'm just balancing myself. So that easily supports my weight. Stronger than it needs to be. Now there's two pieces of pine. I only glued this up about a half an hour ago. And what I want to demonstrate to you here is that that glue joint is sufficiently strong. So if you're gluing this piece to this piece to make a corner, you don't have to do anything to it other than to have a nice clean glue joint. Just a smooth piece and a smooth piece. Both are flat. Glue it together and it's plenty strong and it probably won't break on the glue joint so I'm going to try it in the vise and see if we can actually oh look at that just exactly what I said wouldn't happen did I may not have given that enough time I only glued it up 20 minutes ago 30 at the most uh, that that was that was a fail we'll try that again on the next one but you had to have been impressed with this one that was strong I'll do that again sometime all right We'll figure out something else to tell, show you on the next one. But the idea is to give you a little bit of knowledge on the, use, on the wood that your material, because the more you know about it, the better you're going to be able to construct with it, and the longer the piece is going to last. And the idea is build stuff today that'll end up being antique someday. See you back in the shop soon.